Hi, my name is Marco Rimini and I was president of the media jury. We had a great discussion around the Grand Prix. We had three shortlisted uh, entries and in the end what we wanted to do was to award the one we felt sent the best signal out to the media and advertising or creative community. And we chose something we think actually took integration and took effectiveness to the next level. So the one we chose was Solo from Norway because they felt, we felt they had a real commercial challenge from the big American brands and they did a great and innovative thing for media. They took the advertising out of Norway to America. So that in itself was a very imaginative leap. They did it in a very media orientated way by making it mostly about the billboards in the States but then made it very connected through the web back to Norway. They also had an experiential element with people being sent or being allowed to send uh, examples of Solo to people around the world. It was based on a very simple insight that Norwegian people, because they come from a small country, love the idea that things that they do or people that they know can become world famous. And that's why they went to Hollywood, that's why they went to Los Angeles, because that's where people became world famous. So what better way to have a go against kind of American giants of Coke and Pepsi than by taking a Norwegian to their homeland and by making the Norwegian people proud that they had a real contender. So really good insight, really well targeted, but really creative and connected media execution, which actually delivered real results for them as well commercially. Solo has been on the Norwegian market since 1934 and is considered to be the quintessential Norwegian soft drink. But as competition from global brands has gotten tougher, Solo has become less relevant for Norwegians. Perceived as great tasting, but insignificant and outdated, what could be done to make Norwegians proud of their national soft drink again? We started out running a billboard campaign in Hollywood, while sampling crews handed out Solo in various neighborhoods of LA. The sampling was turned into a TV ad when Norwegians were encouraged to go online to make their own Solo ad and let America know that the best soft drink in the world is in fact Norwegian. During the time the campaign ran, we got over 300,000 unique visitors to solo.no and got covered in all major newspapers, radio and TV channels in Norway. But we couldn't just stop there, so we teamed up with DHL and launched a worldwide campaign to get the whole world to taste Solo. Norwegians could invite anyone in the world to get a Solo sent to them by mail. In return, we got amazing pictures of Solo being enjoyed around the world, making the Norwegians even more proud of their national drink.